This is the OBD scan, so a forward uh, scan tool, the FST39. So it's a full system scan tool uh, for forward vehicles. Should cover basically from I don't know, like 1998 to today's models. Um, some of the newer models sometimes has like a free update, so sometimes the unit has to be updated. Comes in a protective case, so they're very easy to use. A rugged design, so it's good to put into, into like the glove box or the work box or whatnot to work in the workshop. 16 pin OBD2 port that plugs into your OBD2 on your car that'll be below your steering wheel above your pedals. Um, you better access that. Basically, comes with a small manual and a USB a cable for updating the unit. That's basically what you get in the kit. So it's a handy little tool. Um, it's gonna like allow you to do like a few different things. Like at the base level, it's gonna allow you to um, uh, check and clear any like faults. On it's a full system scan tool, so on like any module in the car. Um, and then you've got like your next level as well. Uh, it's called special function. So uh, things such as resetting the PCM, the TCM, and the cam, uh, the oil change reset. Uh, when you do the BMS, put a new battery and resetting that. Uh, electric parking. Uh, like brake pad release and like reset injector quantity adjustment so when you change the injectors a dpf regeneration and the steering angle or like sensor reset if you ever change the clock screen on the steering wheel so depending on your make like and like a model it should cover from like 998 to 2022 uh are doing general scans and all the like the modules and stuff uh, checking and clearing faults for the special functions, it can depend on your year and your model. Uh, like sometimes it might require us um, to get some like data off the unit once you have it like plugged into the car, and we can update the software and, and like get it to work for you. So there is like a lot of stuff going on with these vehicles. So uh, like sometimes we do need to do a little bit of work just to get to work. But majority of the time, it like should be fine, and you can check with us if your vehicle and your year is covered for the function you want. But great tool to have if you own a Ford or work on any Fords. They'll also do basic scans on like all other brands of cars, which means it'll just check uh, the engine ECU for faults and be able to clear them. So you just need to find your, I like the OBD2 port in your car, which is going to be below your steering wheel, above your pedal somewhere. So on this model, squeeze in that, it's actually in behind here. So that's what it's going to like look like. You're going to take the 16 pin port on the scan tool, plug it in, and you'll see the scan tool will boot up here. So. All right, so we've uh, turned the system on here. We have the car on to like ACC. So straight away, if you just go into like into like OBD here, it's going to scan it. It's going to uh, like pick up the protocol for the car. It's going to give you some fairly uh, like basic information. Now you go in here, read codes. No fault codes on this vehicle. Got a data stream, view all items. This is your data stream, so one of 36. This is just doing your general OBD2, so it would actually do the uh, this uh, like general OBD2 scan on like any car. So that's basically that basic function and you go into all these other ones here you've got a your, your special function so epb reset like battery when you had new battery uh, like oil reset etc reset the throttle controller um so if we go across the top up to ford here this is when you get into um so, uh, the uh, uh, functions for the actual uh, like vehicle type so it's picked up what it is 2015 Ford Focus, yes, 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 and that was correct, so I go OK, then we go system scan, and you can see what it's doing now is it's actually scanning all modules in the car, so it's a bit different from that, that first scan we did just did the engine ECU.
So it's going through and just checking if the module's there and then going to scan it if it is there. Um, so you can see it's picked up six different modules. All of them are okay apart from this one here. It has some faults on it. Uh, yep, that's right. Yeah, so it's picking up a fault on this car with the GPS for the um, navigation, which actually you can see there is correct because it's giving us that same fault on the media unit. So that's the first step why this, I like these are handy. So you can scan and re like read f uh, f uh, faults from all uh, like modules. Um, also, we're in that same one. So you can uh, pick up all your... Um, so you got here your GPS fix is not happening or your heading. So you can pick up all your data as well. So, so there's uh, like 47 data points uh, coming in here. You can see as I as I like push the volume button on there, it picks the data point up from that. So you can see all your data streams from all these different like modules that are coming up. Um, you can like you manually try to select them. Next is your special function. So you got like a BMS reset, which is your battery management. So when you put your battery in, clear your transmission adaptive uh, table. So some cars when you do like an oil change or whatnot you need to uh, clear that or change different things TPMS reset as well so that's what's covered for this uh, like, like model under the special functions and then we escape out so that basically uh, like covers the tool there it's a great tool to have if you own a Ford or like work on Fords um, so the uh, general OBD2 scanner or doing like any vehicle that's OBD2 so pretty much 2006 uh, plus in Australia it's going to allow you to check and clear uh, uh, engine uh, fault codes and view data then when you go into Ford, uh, like Ford it's going to pick up the model of what like Ford you have and you're going to get uh, all your modules so you can check and view their uh, like faults in their data and certain special functions so full system scan tool very easy to use